five foot one, baby. I am a bit of a big loser. That little blister. Can't do it. There are tornado sirens. I'm going insane. If I die, I die. Embarrassing. You're embarrassing. Okay. I have an idea and it's something that I've been wanting to do for the past year. The idea is to make a giant painting of myself, full figure, the same size as me. Don't know why, but I think it would be cool. <laughs> but there are no canvases big enough so i actually have to make my own canvas we're gonna go on a little adventure with uh my father because supposedly he knows about wood and then we'll go from there yes well if this guy can do it why can't i i put one baby <laughs> somebody write that down 21 inches. This is a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. My freaking dad fit. I'm going to Home Depot. Oh, a little braid? What am I saying? <laughs> Someone recently said, Come on, you have a lot of free time. And uh, you know what? I do have a lot of free time. And you know what? I am a bit of a big loser. But that's not gonna stop me. Being a loser never hurt anybody. So anyways, we got all the supplies. Now, you could be wondering. Camilla, why are you building a whole frame when you could just cut out a giant piece of freaking canvas and hang it on the wall and paint on that? That's a very good question, though. Thank you for asking. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't think about that bending so much money. Let's just get back into it. All right, y'all, we about to cut some wood using circular saw. I do have some of these. At least I got these science goggles. If I die, I die. If I die, I die. So I really don't have to be doing all this, but I am. Okay, all right, yep. I'm not gonna lie guys, I got scared to use the saw. And I'm getting allergies, so I'm not quite sure what to do. And now I need to ask for help? Unbelievable. Holy balls, I did it. And it may not be perfect, but you know what? None of this is freaking perfect, okay? It's gonna be the worst canvas ever. <laughs> but at least I made it. I'm gonna do the rest. This is what I have. All the angles are just like wrong in the links, but um, again, this isn't gonna be perfect. It's like my first time doing anything ever, so I don't really care. Oh, I think I did everything wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I really gave it my all and my fingers were like scraping the fabric constantly and then I got literal blisters. I did everything I was told to do in the YouTube tutorial. <laughs> I finished um, priming the canvas. Turning a little bit into Anna. And I did three layers of gesso and each time I let it dry and then I took it outside to sand it and then I went back inside. Bro, she looks like an actual canvas. I guess tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna get started for real this time. I'm gonna do the underpainting first because I'm scared that if I do the sketch and then the underpainting, the sketch will disappear and that will be so so sad. Let's just begin. Well, hello everybody. I'm wearing a hat, which will make a lot more sense at the end of this video. Um, here I am doing the sketch i traced half of it and then i like freehanded the other half because the projector didn't fix which by the way i traced to save time i can do it without tracing which i did basically do it without tracing anyways why did i choose this reference i chose this reference because i wanted it to represent my life at 18 years old and i wanted it to be something that i could easily recreate like every five years so it has you know, bracelets my friends gave me, my past paintings, medals, the giraffe stuffed animal, the shirt and the socks, you know, they were all given to me by friends, by my friends. So that's what I was, um, I wanted to achieve. 
honestly, now that I have like the base colors done and the sketch and everything done, I'm like scared to actually start like painting. I actually came up with the genius idea to look at my old, uh, <laughs> at the time lapses on my YouTube channel so I can learn from myself. One, two, three. Okay, we're getting somewhere for sure. All right, I'm taking this hat off. Um, <laughs> I'm starting with the the, the face um, first because I knew it was gonna be really difficult for me, which it was, of course, you know me. Um, and I wanted to get that over with. So I started that after I did the sort of underpainting and blocking in the colors kind of sort of thing. And I had to stand on a step ladder to paint um, properly. <laughs> Um, for this face, I ran into some trouble, which you were gonna see very soon. Well guys, it's me, Camilla, and here is the other Camilla right there. Something is very off. Or maybe I'm going insane. I've spent a little over 10 hours on the painting so far and I'm not impressed. I'm gonna try and figure out what's wrong with like the proportions here because it kind of looks off, like a lot. I'm gonna go. Cheese. <laughs> As I mentioned, um, the face was off, the proportions were off, so what I did to fix it was I over- I took a picture of the painting and then I overlaid it in Procreate on top of the reference and I kind of compared the two to see what's wrong, you know, what's different. And then from there I just kind of fixed it, but I also realized that my reference photo is a little bit blurry, so I had to take a picture of my face up close to really get those itty bitty nitty gritty details to get the way that I wanted it look a little update i think i don't know what day it is i don't know how long i've been working on this i'm literally going insane especially because it's summer i don't know how long it's been but i finally kind of finished it i'm kind of happy that i finally got that out of the way because i feel like it's gonna be probably one of the hardest parts besides recreating these other paintings oh and the arms and the legs are probably gonna be really annoying too actually okay whatever i'm gonna work on the hair now because i can do whatever i want okay bye and here's me working on the shirt. I also want to apologize for just the most horrendous lighting and angles throughout this time lapse. I'm not very good at this stuff and I tried to change the light bulb in my room. There's three of them and um, when I changed one of them, the it just lit on fire. So um, now I have super dim <laughs> lighting and I'm using a lamp I bought from Walmart um, probably 10 years ago. Uh, not gonna lie guys, there is, there are tornado sirens uh, currently happening. <laughs> Let me open the window actually. <laughs> Take a look. But, um, who cares? In other more important news, this side of the shirt is looking epic. This looks epic. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no se <laughs> She's saying the window's gonna break, there's no way. <laughs> so I'm gonna ignore whatever's going on. I'm just gonna continue doing this. Peace, love. <laughs> Don't even worry about uh, the tornado sirens. Those happen all the time here. Nothing ever happens. Anyways, the shirt was actually a lot of fun to paint. I basically just took a dry brush and kind of lightly painted on highlights and that was so much fun. And then I struggled so much on the arms, but eventually I was like, okay, okay, we kind of got it down. We kind of did it! Like, I actually got really excited. <laughs> I was actually really proud of myself. So shout out to Camilla for that. First of all, look at these Look at these arms, first of all. Second of all, look at these arms. Look at the, can you see that? Look at the blend, look at the blend on there. <laughs> I think my dog may have peed on my apron, so I'm going to go wash that. After I washed that pee out, I started working on the hands, and if you don't know me, you're probably watching this and saying like, wow, she probably has no friends, and um, I do, okay, despite popular beliefs, here's a picture to prove it. And also, this painting has a bunch of stuff I purposely included that represents these friendships, like the bracelets that I'm painting um, right now, which I previously mentioned. So I do have friends. Okay. <laughs> I'm not lonely. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, just got back from swimming, and I will tell you, I walked in. This is POV, you're walking in. La la la. I got scared by that reflection. Here's where we're at though. I finished the hands. I don't really like how they turned out. I don't like the arms either, but you know what? I just don't care. 
and I started working on the legs and then I realized, wow, I'm just gonna have an even harder time with those. I think the goal for tomorrow is to finish the hair and the shirt. I have to take a shower. It is 11 p.m. Listen, my goal is to finish this by the 23rd and um, that's in a week. So I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna go now, say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, I loved finishing the shirt. The shirt was probably my favorite thing out of this entire painting, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, but I really struggled a lot with the legs. And I do want to say that Red and Link, you know, the guys from Good Mythical Morning, they got me through this painting so hard. I probably watched like a hundred thousand videos of theirs, just like on the loop while I was painting. I was having a good laugh. I was listening. It was top tier. And I've been watching them for like since I was literally a kid. So I don't know. They really got me through the, this painting. Just wanted to give them a shout out. I'm on the floor right now because I'm trying to paint the legs. They look fuzzy. Not sure what's going on, but it's the last thing I have to do on the body. And then I have to do the socks. <laughs> so it's not the last thing, but um, I'm gonna finish it today. And I'm gonna work a little bit on the background too today because I just thought about that I the fact that I had to repaint the background. I'm gonna go. My sister's uh, feet are broken, apparently, and um, I gotta go save her life, actually, and pick her up. So I'm gonna stop painting. I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go. My sister is fine, by the way. I just want to clarify. Uh, apparently, her foot has been broken for the past like few months, which I don't know how she didn't notice. But that's besides the point. The point is, I finished the freaking body, which, by the way, it's been 48 hours since I started the painting. So I started to get really nervous about the background because I was like, I feel like the background's gonna be so much more like work. I can't even imagine how long that's gonna take. So I got really nervous. It's 9 a.m. I finished the body yesterday. Can I get three cheers for that? Three. Are you serious? You think this is a game? The legs I took a long time on. And honestly, when I look at them, oh my god. They're horrible. They're horrible. But I posted a picture of this and everybody was talking about no legs. And they were like, it looks really good. I was like, are you serious? Because if you think so, then I'm in the clear. So I'm going to start on the background right now. It's not going to be as fun. This is the background that I'm going to be painting. I'm going to go bye. And finally, we begin what I consider the background. Um, I started with my dog, Bella. And I used to do portrait commissions, like pet portrait commissions, um, before I did any original paintings. And I don't know how I did it because I was struggling so hard. But it did get easier, actually, as I continued to paint my dog. Which, by the way, if you don't know, this is my dog, Bella. And um, she is about to turn 10. I got her in the third grade and I wanted to include her in this painting because she is a part of my life. This is my dog. I think she's... I think she got scared by the giant portrait. Are you serious? Bella, it's not real, it's not real. This is you, Bella. Look behind you. Look, Bella, it's you. Right there. What's so scary? <laughs> is she serious? <laughs> what? I don't know what happened, but I'm missing about half of the time lapses from when I started working in the background. But here's what you missed. Basically, I just blocked in most of the colors in the background, like the wall and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm working on the cardboard box behind me that contains several of my paintings. A lot of people are saying like, hey, like how do you paint yourself so much? And the thing is, I don't, when I paint myself, I'm not looking at myself as a person. It's all just kind of like shapes and colors, which sounds dumb, but it's true. <laughs> So when I'm painting, I'm like, I'm not registering it as myself, if that makes sense. Hey guys, so do you remember when I said that my goal was to finish this painting by the 23rd? Well, today is actually the 26th, which means I've almost spent an entire month on this. No!
but I have been working on it. Um, I think I finished mostly the bottom half. Like I finished the box. I think the top half will be infinitely harder. I just don't know about the painting. It to me personally, I look at the background, I'm like, it doesn't look good. I'll admit it, I haven't been putting a lot of time and effort and detail into the background like I did with the rest of the body. And it shows. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to go in and add more detail. <laughs> I mean, who do you think I am? It's not its not even that bad. I mean, from far away, you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. Then you get further up and it's like, that was a choice. For this little stuffed animal, like that looks so, it doesn't, it's not as detailed as I usually do my stuff. It's an inconsistency in quality. I recognize it and I don't know if I'm gonna, fi <laughs> if I'm gonna fix it. Okay, I don't care that much. This painting is for fun, but we're gonna keep going. Let's get into it. Here's the final countdown, y'all. I'm painting the stuffed animal, the giraffe that my very best friend gave me a long time ago. And um, I'm working on the wall and the metals and the metals I actually had to like, oh my God, it was too much. Like, and then I had to repaint my paintings, which was, all of this was so tedious and so hard. And I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Like I didn't have to do this. And people always ask me, <laughs> how, you know, because people are always asking me stuff. So. They're like, how do you stay so motivated to come over to do this? Um, and it's just like, kind of like when I do something and it turns out like the way I want it, I kind of get like a little adrenaline rush. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I killed it and it kind of like I want to keep going so I can see how this looks at the end because I enjoy revealing to myself the babies. <laughs> I'm gonna cut these few time lapses short to finally reveal the painting to you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it. I just finished the painting and I feel nothing. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my very special song that I just sang to you. It's actually streaming on all platforms right now. <laughs> it's definitely not, um, but yeah, I finished the painting. I know you can't see all of it because it is, you know, 68 inches tall. And uh, I want to say thank you for 90,000 subscribers because that is crazy. I mean, there are so many people who have been following this painting since I started and um, I finally finished it. I'm actually gonna, let me give you guys a um, better close up. I feel like the, the reveal <laughs> wasn't too good. First of all, there's my doggie. Sorry, I can't get a better angle, but just, you know, you know how it goes. I think it's pretty cool. I will say the repainting my paintings really took the life out of me. It was just, it was so tedious and it was like, why am I painting something that I've already painted? This painting ended up taking 78 hours. I'm confused on why I didn't take more time. All the hours I logged, I worked on it almost every single day. I really enjoyed painting this and I hope to recreate this in the future and kind of see, you know, how my life has changed. So Camilla, in five years, if you're still here and if you're still making art, please do this again, even though it drained the life out of you. <laughs> Bye guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this. I spent so much time on this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave a like. <laughs> okay, bye.